Joining us now on the phone is Republican Congressman Carlos Curbelo from Florida. Curbelo's district includes the Florida Keys and part of Miami-Dade County. Congressman, thank you for joining us. What are you hearing from first responders and your constituents in that area? Allison, good morning from Miami, where most people are breathing a sigh of relief as the sun prepares to rise here. We know we have many uprooted trees, many people still without power, uh, but we know this could have been far worse considering this forecast was showing a direct hit to the Miami metro area just a few days ago. Our true concern is for our friends and my constituents in the Florida Keys. Of course, they took a direct hit. And uh, only after the sun rises today will we know exactly what the extent of the damage is. There are a lot of rumors circulating as to what uh, may have happened in the Florida Keys, but authorities just don't know. I'm hoping to get an airlift uh, to the Florida Keys later today to get on the ground there and help that community, those communities, because really every island is a community in and of itself, uh, to help them start uh, rebuilding uh, and recovering. Uh, we know that uh, FEMA uh, is already attempting to move uh, into the area. The U.S. Coast Guard uh, is attempting to return uh, to the Florida Keys since they completely evacuated. And uh, we're just anxious to get down to uh, many of the local heroes uh, who remain there, yeah. first responders who voluntarily decided to stay, and of course, emergency managers and uh, some residents who uh, decided to stay. Yeah. Um, but uh, this was a historic storm uh, for that area, and we're anxious uh, to get down there and see exactly what happened and how we can begin to help. Well, Congressman, we talked to one of those folks, um, one of the experts who stayed behind so he could get information out to the state. He's a NOAA meteorologist. He hunkered down in the NOAA bunker there, and he gave us some information that does sound dire. I mean, he said that people in the Keys right now are without electricity. They are without water. They are without cell service or Internet. And the bridges connecting them to the mainland and to civilization and the roadways have been blocked or partially washed away. I mean, it just sounds like they are truly marooned. So what will you do to get them, you know, back on the grid? Well, the first thing we have to do is coordinate logistics. And uh, obviously, uh, a lot of uh, relief materials are going to arrive by air as soon as we can uh, ensure that uh, the airports there uh, are safe uh, for uh, aircraft to land. Uh, also, uh, Secretary Mattis, before uh, the storm hit, uh, pledged to uh, have the Department of Defense support these efforts. So we may see a lot of supplies arriving. Uh, by naval vessel or by sea. The Coast Guard can also be helpful uh, in that regard. And uh, that is the challenge, Allison. I get questions a lot of times in Congress, is it tough to service the Florida Keys? Under normal circumstances, it is, because it's a, a long uh, island chain, and uh, there's only one road in and one road out. Imagine now, after the pass of a historic uh, storm of this nature. And, uh, Allison, another thing I'll say about the Keys, a lot of people think about the Keys in the context of tourism yeah. and boating and uh, people who uh, live there a part of the year and live up north uh, uh, during the summer. Uh, but the Florida Keys, there's some very close-knit communities there. Uh, everyone knows each other on these small islands. And I have no doubt uh, that they will recover quickly with the help of, uh, of the federal government, the state government, and obviously so many local governments from all over the country, uh, starting here in Miami-Dade and as far as Texas and California, who have pledged uh, to help this area. This is uh, one of the signature parts of our country. A yeah. lot of people from all over the world travel to the United States oh, to yeah. visit the Florida Keys. And uh, we will help them recover, and the Florida Keys will recover. Absolutely. People have so much affection for that area um, because they vacation there, and Jimmy Buffett, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Congressman, thank you very much for taking the time to update thank us you, on what the needs are. You 